What is going on guys? It is Michael and I am back with another figure review and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga 2 pack with the Iron Man Mark 85 and the Endgame Thanos specifically the Thanos like I said last time in the Iron Man review this is what we're gonna be taking a look at today and uh, I mean so my overview on this figure is I think he's a I think he's a really cool figure I really like the design that they put on him I think everything came out well that they did there's just a couple of design choices that I wish they hadn't done we'll get into it more when we actually uh, get into the figure itself uh, but uh, there are a couple things that I, I really wish that and it's something they've done with the with the uh, Thanos figure in the past, specifically the armored Thanos figure, uh, build a figure that we got uh, not too long ago. Um, but like I said, we'll get into it when we get there. Uh, let's go ahead and get into what he comes with accessory wise, and then we'll get into the figure itself. Alrighty, first thing we're going to take a look at is his helicopter blade that he comes with, and I think they did a good job with this. Mine has a little bit of a mess up right there but again I had to zoom in all the way for me to even notice that's the first time I've noticed it but uh, I really like the silver paint that they did for it I like the engravings on it it's all sculpted in there everything is all sculpted all the detail again I think this paint that they use is really nice this speckly silver looks really really cool and to the gold right here um, it's kind of the same problem that uh, some of the other figures have had in the past, which is why I was loving the Iron Man, the Mark 85 Iron Man that we got, because the gold was so cool and so vivid. Um, this gold's not terrible. It just it just looks dull. It looks like a plastic. You know, it looks like the color of the plastic that they had. They didn't really do any paint on top of it. Uh, and I'm not like a massive fan of it, but uh, it does its job here. And again, the other side's exactly the same. Those engravings, they all look really cool. He comes with two hands for his right hand. He comes with one, which is this nanotech infinity gauntlet that has all the gems and it's doing the same exact thing that the uh the mark 85 one had there's a couple of uh mist paints right here um it's it's not terrible i feel like it could have been a lot better but it's not awful uh you know it serves its purpose for what it is uh but i rarely ever have him posed with this um the problems that I, I was getting into is that I really wish they would stop giving us the Thanos figures with the Infinity Gauntlet already on it. Um, I think this figure would be a hell of a lot cooler if instead of having the Infinity Gauntlet, it had just another one of these arms right here. And maybe you could take the forearm off and put the Infinity Gauntlet on. I think that would be a lot cooler. I mean, they give they gave us a lot of stuff in this pack. They give us four different head sculpts. Maybe take one of the head sculpts out and give us another... Uh, a replaceable arm here. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. You know, he, he shouldn't be fighting with the Infinity Gauntlet in his hand like this. He only did it literally once, and that was when uh, Captain Marvel was attacking him, and he had to pull the Power Stone out to punch her in the face. So again, I think it would have been a lot better if they had given us just a normal arm. Like, they had just given us, like, I don't know, like just like a forearm, just a basic forearm or something like that. It works with this figure because this figure is exactly what it is. It's it's Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. We see him like this. He's like this almost the majority of the movie uh, in Infinity War, so it makes sense. But this one right here, I, I don't know, I just wish it was it, we hadn't gotten it. But the other hand that they give us is the Snapping Hand. And I like the Snapping Hand a lot because it doesn't have those gems in it. It's that scene where he's snapping, he's got that smug look on his face, and then just to look over to Iron Man and see that he's got all the gems. I, I like it. I think this is cool. I think this hand is better done than this hand. I don't know, something about this plastic, I don't know. This It just looks messy. This red here, it just looks messy. It doesn't look clean. It doesn't, especially doesn't look that great on the camera. It just looks really messy. I wish they had done a little bit of a better job with it. Um, like right here, like, like in between those fingers. I mean, it's just all one piece right here and I wish they had just worked a little bit better on it maybe not had that in there maybe one day I'll take like an exacto knife and try and get this excess plastic out of there um it's not terrible it's just it could have been a lot better you can definitely tell that a lot of the work in this pack went towards that iron man because it looks a hell of a lot better all right we'll get into the four head sculpts that he does come with first we'll start the one we'll start looking at the one he comes with on already and this is his uh disintegrating head the very end of the movie when he takes a seat down because he's been snapped away and it's starting to fall apart um i don't mind this head i <laughs> i don't mind this head i think uh Again, we could have gotten maybe one less head in this. Maybe one less head, one less hand, and then a replaceable arm. Or a replaceable forearm would have been cool. But it's not bad. 
think they did a really good job with the uh, the eyes. You know, it looks nice. The cut on his nose, all the fading away. It looks really cool. That gray, it looks nice. <laughs> this look terrible. Uh, the next head sculpts, I think these head sculpts are probably better. Uh, we'll do uh, just a basic Thanos head sculpt. You know, no smile, nothing. Just his his pissed off face, his ball sack chin. I think they did this. I think they did the normal Thanos head sculpts really well. Those uh, lines across his forehead. Everything's really, really sculpted. And I, I, I keep bringing up this older one because I don't have any of the newer ones. But you can see the, the head sculpt. They drastically improved these head sculpts over the years. 100%. Looks way better now. I mean, just, just the skin color itself. But, yeah, looks way better. Way, way better. This one's not bad. The next one is a smiling one. I'm assuming this is the one he'll have when he's about to snap. He's about to snap those fingers. He's got that smile on his face thinking he won, but in reality, he didn't. He, you didn't win, you loser. Not bad. Same thing as the other one, just a smile. I think they do a good job with it. And the last one is his helmeted head sculpt with this angry face. And I think this is one of my more favorite. This is my favorite one. Because if I have him in a pose, if I have him in a pose that's not in my MCU shelf, it'll be him fighting. Uh, and I'll be using this one. I think it looks really cool. Really, really cool. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, I don't know if it's a design choice. Maybe they just weren't able to do it. But in the past, with the Loki figure and with the Odin figure, we've gotten um, removable helmets. I'm surprised they didn't give us the option. Because if they had given us a removable helmet, you could have put it on any of these heads. You know, smiling head. You know, the upset head. You, I just wish this helmet was removable. It just would have been a lot cooler. I mean, parts of it like come off his face like that. But it is 100% on there. So, can't take that off, which I'm fine with uh, and not fine with at the same exact time. Again, just design choices that they had done when they were actually um, making the figure. Uh, I'm not too uh, I'm not too upset about it, mainly because this is definitely a lot better than what we've gotten in the past. So, I can only mildly complain. I'm not too upset. Like I said, I mostly wanted the pack just to get the Iron Man, but this was a, a nice figure to have in there. We're going to take a look at the figure itself here now. I'm going to go ahead and put a base head sculpt on there and a fisted hand. All right, let's take a look at the head. Let's take a look at the body. So again, like I said, they do a really good job with this purple paint. It looks really, really nice. You can see it going all the way through his body. Just Well, I say all the way through his body, but just his arms and his hands and his head. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot better of a paint than we've gotten in the past. Um, they've definitely improved as they've made more and more Thanos figures, but I think this one definitely is probably one of the best ones, which sucks because there's still things they could improve on. We'll probably never get another one, but this is definitely one of my more favorite ones. Um, uh, so like I said, yeah, they did a really good job with the head sculpts. I mean, even the arms look really good as well. You can have those, you have those lines that he's got in his, his, uh, his veins coming through as well. Looks really cool. The armor looks nice as well. It looks a lot better on camera, I gotta say. It looks a lot more gold on camera. In real life, it doesn't look... It looks a little bit more stale. <laughs> I like to use the word stale there. Um, but uh, design-wise and sculpt-wise, they nailed it. I mean, the, it's it's battle-damaged all the way through. Uh, all I mean, like the entire chest piece, his whole chest piece, all um, even on the back, is all battle-damaged. You can see. Looks really cool. And this is supposed to, you can either use this as just straight battle damage, or ideally it's supposed to be his, uh, his fading away. But, uh, and it doesn't look terrible for what it is. Um, I like that it's battle damage right here, but then right here in the neck it's perfectly fine. And you can see as we get past this upper chest piece, it's just perfectly fine for the rest of the way through. I like the design of it. I think they nailed the actual, like, design and recreating what we saw in the movies. I like this grade that they have here. I think it looks really cool. Thanos booty. All the flaps on the sides are all plastic, so they're able to move, so it doesn't hinder the articulation. It will a little bit, um, but not much. Again, it's this plastic that'll just go right back normally, but yeah, the gold and gray combo looks really cool. This front loin cloth, even the legs. Oh, there's some battle damage right here, so what I said earlier was incorrect. There's a little bit of battle damage right here on the thigh as well, you can see. Still with that gray undersuit below it. A little bit of a lighter gray here on the, you know, the sides. Yeah, definitely definitely nailed the actual look of it. I like this right here. You can see this, this black right here in the middle. That looks really cool. I like how they did that. 
The boots came out really nice, I gotta say. I think look-wise, they nailed them. Uh, I think it looks really good. I think it looks really, really nice. I just wish, again, that they had um, chosen some different things uh, for, you know, this right here. Um, maybe a couple, maybe a, a helmet that was removable would be cool so we can put him on all the different heads. But, you know, I don't hate it. Um, Articulation-wise, he does struggle with being a bigger figure. Um, Head-wise, I mean, he looks up about only that much. He's being hindered by this back neck piece, neck piece right here. And he looks down about that much. Um, and then if you want to change the head, it's just a it's just a ball joint right here. Just take another one like this one. And then it just pegs right in there. I like the neck. That I like... I like how they do uh, Tony's a little bit better because it's easier to put, take the head on, on and off, but I'm not opposed to this as well. It's still pretty easy, but yeah, you can see it just like that. Same thing with the hand. It just comes right off. You just peg it right in there. The articulation wise, you can look down about that much, which is kind of lame, but I mean, it's a big figure. You kind of, you kind of know this is going to happen. He literally is only on a ball joint right up here. I don't even think the ball joint moves a little bit, so you're able to get him down about that much. Him down about that much and then only up about that much so there's yeah there's a hinge right there as well so um and then left about that much right about that much you don't want to go 360 you're going to rub up against this neck piece so do not do that you shouldn't be doing that anyway arms go up, up about that much they don't go 90 degrees again being reduced restricted by these shoulder pieces right here and it's just a big arm um, it goes up about that much. It does move this a little bit. It's a little bit plasticky, but not enough to uh, not enough for this to go up any further. It goes back about that much. Single jointed elbows right here. It's a nice joint though. It's a nice joint. You're able to get a lot done, and it does rotate around at his elbow as well. Um, the hands can move around almost 360 in there, um, and I think there's a hinge as well. Yeah, there is a hinge in there. Again, restricted by the gauntlet right here. Um, same thing on this side. It's a little bit better on this side because you're able to, you know, move the hand around a little bit better, but not terrible. And then he goes down about, he got an ab crunch about that much. He goes back about that much. He's articulate right here. He does not have a waist joint right here, so he can't, can't twist around. So he goes up and down. That's about it. His legs kick out about that much, not 90 degrees. Kick forward about that much. Kick forward a lot. They do a really good job with kicking forward. Back about that much. You do have, in fact, double jointed knees, which is freaking awesome. Gotta love that they do that. There's no sort of, uh, there's no sort of muscle, <laughs> muscle. There's no sort of joint right here in the legs at all. Um, the foot kicks down about that much. Kicks up about that much. There is an ankle pivot. Again, with majority of other stuff, it is hindered by this, uh, this plastic here. So, but. I think all in all, I think he uh, he definitely works. Uh, he's a good figure. He's he's not one of the uh, best figures I've ever had, but he he's a really good figure. He looks nice. He uh, he looks like Thanos. Here he is standing next to the Thanos from Infinity War, the build a figure, and uh, this one is taller, but it makes sense. You know, he's an armor. Uh, I think he's supposed to be pretty tall, and he's just barely taller. Um, it looks like his chest piece is just wider. I think one of the issues with this one is uh, his. <laughs> especially looking at it now his chest is really strange it's really bulky and big and fat and his head so small compared to it but definitely looks a lot better on this one so this one's definitely better here he is standing next to ebony ma and uh they look really good they look really well together really well they look really good together i think uh i think it's definitely a good fit um i wish i had uh some of the rest of the black hand but um uh, so I can show you guys what he looks like with the full group, but I definitely think he, uh, I definitely think he fits size wise with everybody else. Look wise, he looks really good. Um, accessory wise, he comes with good good accessories. He comes with a good bit, so uh, I definitely think this was worth the buy, especially for that Iron Man. Um, I don't know if I'd ever go out of my way to buy this figure individually though, mainly because again there are just like design choices I hate with this. Um, but uh, now that I do have the updated. I needed the updated Thanos figure because this one's old. He looks old. He feels old. I mean, you can tell. You can tell the improvements they've made. But uh, if I didn't need this Thanos figure on my shelf, he didn't come in the two-pack, uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten him um, just because, uh, yeah, I get some of those choices. And he probably would have been like maybe a $30 or $40 figure or a Build-A-Figure like he's been multiple times. Um, but um, 
we've gotten this we've gotten this armored i don't know why i clicked my tongue so hard we've gotten this armored thanos figure multiple times before and i say multiple times fuck my cock we've gotten this thanos armored figure once before he was in a build a figure wave i mean i've got the i have the leg down here right here i think uh i think it's better the way they have it now um but we have gotten the build a figure for this thanos before i think this one looks better this one comes with the nano gauntlet uh, the other build a figure that comes, the other build a figure that's armored comes with, uh, the actual infinity gauntlet. So I think this one is better. Uh, I think this is, again, the best Thanos MCU figure we've gotten to date. Uh, I just, again, small changes I'd make, but I feel like a broken record. I'm going to keep repeating those things if I don't stop myself. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. You guys on the next one, like I said, the next figure review will most likely be either the, um, Infinity Saga Odin or the Infinity Saga Quicksilver. I uh, will decide. I mean, one of them will get reviewed next. So, and after that, I've got some Star Wars figures I want to take a look at, but, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful night and, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.